my Christian friend asked me that why is the crescent and the star a symbol of Islam? Many people have a misconception that the crescent and the star they are a symbol of Islam. But the crescent and the star they are not a symbol of Islam, they are not a flag of Islam, but rather they are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Suratul in Suratul Yaseen, chapter number 36, verse number 40. Less shamsu yambari laha and tudrikal kamar, wala laylu sabikun nahar, kulun fi falakin yasbahun. That it is not permitted for the sun to outstrip the moon, nor for the night to overtake the day. Each is in its own orbit that is moving in its own motion. And in several other verses of the glorious Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the moon. That it is a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the sun and the moon, they are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And regarding the star, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the glorious Quran. In Surah Al-Najm, regarding the star, one Najmi ida hawa, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala also mentions regarding the star in Surah Al-Tariq, verse number three, an Najm al-Thaqib, the piercing star. So it is mentioned in the glorious Quran that the moon is a sign of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the sun is a sign of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the stars are a sign of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So all of these they are signs of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And many Muslim countries, they have adopted the crescent and the star as a part of their flag, thinking it to be a part of Islam. No less than 10 Muslim countries, they have adopted the crescent and the star to be a part of their flag. For example, Mauritius, for example, Maldives, for example, Mauritania, T Turkey, Tunisia. Pakistan etc these countries they have adopted the crescent as well as the star to be a part of their flag countries like Maldives countries like Mauritania Turkey Tunisia Pakistan etc but the crescent and the star they are not the symbol of Islam, they are not the flag of Islam, but rather they are the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if someone wants to use it for in order to signify something or as a symbol, whether it be on the flag, etc., it is not haram to use it. At the same time, it is not mustahab to use it, but rather it is mubah. And at the same time, it is not makru to use it. So if someone wants to use it, there is no problem in it. But if someone wants to signify Islam, it is better for him to signify Islam with a mosque or with the glorious Quran or with Makkah or with Medina. This would be a better signification. This would be a better way in order to signify Islam. But if someone uses these symbols, these signs, so there is no problem with someone using these signs, whether it be on their flags or whether it be for any other purpose. So I hope that answers your question.